Hello everybody. Today we are going to study about the role of sonography in medical imaging. So a typical ultrasound setup consists of several components that are designed to uh, capture and display the uh, ultrasound images uh, from the internal body structures uh, by using the sound waves. The ultrasound machine or scanner typically consists of control panel provided with various knobs, keys, and buttons. These knobs are used for adjusting the parameters, selecting the different imaging modes like A mode, B mode, M mode, and color Doppler mode. Also, these knobs are provided uh, with the functions of like depth and focusing, overall gain, time gain compensation, which all are used frequently to optimize the ultrasound image. Monitor, the ultrasound machine is connected to the monitor. Advanced ultrasound monitors, this, uh, monitors include integrated imaging software that provides the additional functional functionalities such as 3D and 4D imaging software, software for elastography and automated uh, measurement. Then transducer and probe. This is the basic handheld device that uh, is used uh, in ultrasound system. Uh, this probe uh, contains many crystals um, that uh, receive uh, that emit and receive ultrasound uh, uh, ultrasound waves uh, to form the image. Uh, these are of different shapes and have different frequencies. The shape is useful um, while doing ultrasound, like the first one, this is phase array probe. This is having a very small scan head that can be fit into the, in, in between the intervertebral spaces for performing the heart studies, uh, which is called echocardiography. The other one is called uh, curved linear probe which is uh, having a somewhat curved surface. This is used for abdominal imaging and pops imaging, gynae imaging also, and other structures. Uh, this is a high-frequency linear probe used for uh, vascular study mainly. Uh, then this is uh, intracavitory probe, which is used for transvaginal scanning and transsectoral scanning. Mm, the all the probes have different frequencies. Uh, if we want to uh, visualize uh, the deeper structures uh, like the abdominal organs, we have to go. Uh, to we have to use the low frequency probes uh, because low frequency probes can penetrate deeper inside the tissue, though they have less resolution as compared to the high frequency probes which are only used for superficial scanning uh, because they do not need to uh, penetrate much. Uh, and intracavitary probes are high, high, high frequency probes. They are in uh, direct touch with the organs that we are studying. So different probes have different functions and different frequencies. Printer, the thermal printer, involves the application of heat to the special thermal papers. This paper is coated with a chemical that react to heat producing the desired images. The cards and trolley, they are having this, these wheels which makes them mobile and easy to move within a medical facility. Uh, these are also designed uh, at different uh, for different adjustable types. Then the storage and archiving system in the ultrasound play, plays a crucial role. 
in the imaging and prevent uh, preserving the vast amount of the medical imaging data which is gen generated during the ultrasound examination. These systems are designed to securely store, organize, and retrieve, retrieve the ultrasound images and the patient information efficiently. Shades of gray, uh, these are, are the uh, reflected echoes which uh, produce different shades of gray uh, in an ultrasound image. Uh, unlike uh, a human eye can detect approximately more than 65 shades of gray, unlike uh, uh, X-ray imaging, which has only black and white images, uh, this uh, reflected echoes uh, in the ultrasound uh, are provided with different shades of gray. And uh, uh, these shades of gray helps to identify the abnormalities and assessing the organ function. The brighter shades of gray typically uh, represents the denser tissue or more reflective tissue. And this darker uh, shades of gray represent the less dense tissue or the less reflective tissue. This is the female organ, uterus. This is the capsule. Uh, of the uterus and this is since then so it is giving more bright reflections it is highly reflective while the muscles of the uterus uh, are not so much dense they are soft tissues uh, smooth muscles so they will get less uh, reflections or uh, less bright in, uh, reflections so they will appear as gray or uh, less bright the dynamic study Ultrasound is a reliable tool for dynamic studies in various medical applications. Like this, you can see the fetal heart movements as well as the blood flow through the heart from different chambers. Uh, it is also um, uh, has a good uh, imaging modality for this vascular blood supply, including both the assessment of the arteries and veins. Various anatomical structures and different organs like this pancreas, you can detect where is the head of pancreas, where is the body, where is the tail, uh, different lobes and segments like in liver. So uh, the uh, even minor uh, detail or anatomical structures can easily be identified by ultrasound. In blood flow, it helps to detect that whether the blood is flowing towards the probe or it is flowing away from the probe. Also, it helps uh, in uh, telling us the, uh, the speed or velocity of blood flow. Organs and tissues uh, like liver, pancreas, gallbladder, spleen, kidneys and so many organs can easily be, easily be utilized by ultrasound. Uh, since it is a dynamic real-time scanning, you can see the fetal development, development in obstetrical ultrasound from time to time. Uh, in the first, there are three trimesters, it means every trimester composed of uh, four weeks. So in the first trimester, by our knowledge, we know that uh, there is development of brain, spinal cord, heart, the development of placenta, umbilical cord, placenta is the organ where the maternal and fetal circulation comes in contact that the oxygenated blood from the uh, fetus will cross over the placenta and will be will return back to the maternal blood flow. Shadows and enhancement, uh, dense tissue, solid tissue like bones or stones will give us the, the caustic shadowing and the fluid filling structures will give us the sprite uh, that goes posterior to them so we can differentiate between solid and 
cystic structures easily by using ultrasound. There are so many cavities uh, in the body which are actually the potential spaces uh, formed by the mucosal folds of the serous membranes. Uh, like, uh, for example, in uh, around the lungs, there are serous membranes co covering what we call pleura and the uh, cavities for pleural cavity. Normally, it is a potential space, but if there is some uh, fluid accumulation uh, that is called pleural fluid, then we, we can easily detect. Uh, similarly, the pericardial cavity around the heart can, if there is, normally there is no fluid, if there is accumulation of fluid, fluid that is called pericardial fluid, we can easily detect it. Then the abdominal cavity, there is the serous membranous layer is called peritoneum. If there is presence of fluid within the peritoneal cavity, that is called ascites, and we can easily detect it. Similarly, we can easily see the uh, urine in the bladder, the pancreatic secretion, the pancreatic duct, and fluid in the stomach or gastric fluid. We can use ultrasound for screening and preventive healthcare purposes, the screening of breast uh, ultrasound is very commonly used for detecting any tumor, especially cancer. And in case of liver, we usually do screening for the failure of the liver, which is called cirrhosis of liver, uh, by a technique called elastography. The soft tissues like the muscles, the tendons, the fat and fascia, they can easily be identified on ultrasound uh, and can uh, be easily uh, seen in different uh, pathologies like uh, rupture of tendons or presence of some soft tissue, abscess or sebaceous cyst, etc.